Good morning, you guys. I'm out here in the ocean by myself this time. I gotta catch a fish. I gotta show you guys I can do it. I can catch a fish all by myself. One to eat. I got a bunch of bait fish this morning. Some really nice little sardines. You can't see. So I'm just trolling around right now. Jets is taking a nap under here in the shade. Just trying to find some structure or some big patch of weed or something to kind of set up on and just throw these live bait on and see if we get some dolphin or something. Wish us luck. It's super calm out here. So flat. Super blue water. Oh, there's a shark right there, you see him? Look guys, I got a fish! See, you think I could do, couldn't do it without Sierra. I caught a fish. This guy is like on the bottom and like over this guy's anchor line. What the heck? Right on top of us. What are these people thinking? Oh, and they're hooked onto the big ship's anchor, anchor buoy to mark where his anchor is. They tied onto it so they could drag his anchor. What the heck? All right, we're back in the big boat. We just had a little lunch, and Jenny and I are going to the marina to take care of all our fresh water and clean the back of the boat and everything that we got to get done. All right, just got all our errands done. Boats, it, not organized or clean, but at least I scrubbed the back deck down a little bit. Uh, everything's taken care of, all our pump out and all our pump out and water and everything we need but check this out i don't know look at this man i don't know if these guys like cut the corner too short oh let's see what's going on here there's like a big seawall on the other side of them with like a bunch of debris i'm gonna pull them off yeah they must have just cut that corner too short at this low tide just ran aground that's it Expensive boat to run aground in. There he goes. Definitely just cut that corner too tight. They're off. All good. <laughs> Look at that sunset. Look who's here. Say hi. Hi. This is our number one fan. How are you? Who's that? It's my mom. No, who's on YouTube? It's our audience. Oh, hi. What's going on? I mean, and Pinta are leaving. We never even got to go on. I know. They're too busy fishing and stuff. Oh well, next time. What's going on? Good morning, you guys. We still got this boat here tied up to someone else's anchor line. Haven't seen the person. One of our neighbors left a little note right on the transom right here. I don't know what, what the deal is with that boat, but we're getting back to work over here. So, blah. <laughs> These are all my holes I drilled and filled with, injected with epoxy, and then I kind of, uh, Ugh. I puttied some up just because it was going to rain one night so just to seal it all the way up. That's why you see all this white marine text. But this did not work. It's There's just too much rot and you can see the floor is still really soft. 
and it goes from here all the way down this whole strip of deck here so I think what I'm gonna do is just go for it just cut off that top layer of deck scrape out all the wood and get all that wood from underneath and then throw in some new marine plywood glass it in re-glass right over it oh man pain in the All right, let's see what we got under here. Yep, wet, wet wood. So we got all the glass up, as you guys can see. And you can see like all the water intrusion was definitely through these stanchions. You know, they just leak through the screw holes because they're not properly sealed and embedded. And all the water gets into this wood and just rots it out and delaminates it. And now this is what you got. And that moisture and delamination and rot just keeps spreading right throughout the whole deck. So we're just gonna cut out that whole piece place that wood glass over it hopefully it doesn't take too long all right just starting to pull the plywood off that was on here it's just completely rotted all right we got that top piece of plywood off in the whaler get ready to go in the dumpster and it turns out that so we just have some struts here that the wood is screwed into and this is uh I guess like the bottom shell kind of look this is all the epoxy that I injected that I screwed through this plywood and it just kind of leaked out the bottom here so it's like oh my god a lot of wasted epoxy we got the whole crew here just went and got some plywood on our way back to boat but look at the sky we got fire in the sky look at that 